David Dockery delves into the Book of Psalms, emphasizing its status as a central piece of Israelite worship and a profound source of individual devotion, revealing the full spectrum of human emotion and divine wisdom. He notes the Psalter's completion in the post-exilic era, but includes compositions spanning centuries, evidenced by superscripts that ascribe authorship to figures like David, Asaph, and Moses, among others. These titles, though ancient and occasionally enigmatic, offer insights into the psalm's origins and contexts, despite some scholarly skepticism about their late edition or conjectural nature. The debate over the Davidic authorship of the psalms is particularly notable. Dockery argues for David's potential authorship, citing his known musicality and spiritual leadership. Some psalms attributed to David reference the temple, a structure post-dating him, but Dockery suggests that such terms might metaphorically refer to earlier worship places, thus not precluding Davidic authorship. Also, Dockery challenges the late dating of psalms, previously common among scholars. He points to parallels with ancient Ugaritic songs, indicating that many psalms might share this ancient lineage. Moreover, the discovery of psalm fragments among the Dead Sea Scrolls supports their composition well before the commonly accentuated later periods. The psalms are thus categorized into three periods reflecting Israel's changing circumstances, pre-exilic, exilic, and early post-exilic. This timeline shows the psalms as a dynamic collection evolving with the religious and societal changes of the Israelite people. Dockery's analysis affirms the psalms' enduring significance, offering a window into the ancient Israelite soul and wisdom that continues to resonate in modern spirituality and worship. Furthermore, Dockery provides a comprehensive analysis of the Psalms, identifying them as a compilation divided into five books, each concluding with a doxology. Yet the specific dates and criteria for their compilation remain uncertain. He notes historical efforts like the post-exilic period's finalization of the Psalter and variations in Psalm counts across traditions. Dockery's detailed categorization of the Psalms asserts their diversity and functionality. He describes various types of psalms, hymns for communal praise, community and individual complaints expressing collective or personal distress, individual songs of thanksgiving for deliverance, royal psalms concerning kingship, Torah psalms focusing on moral instruction, oracle psalms delivering divine judgments or salvation, blessing psalms offering priestly benedictions, taunt songs against the wicked, and songs of trust showcasing steadfast faith amidst adversity. Each category reflects a specific aspect of life and spirituality, from worship and lamentation to wisdom and prophecy. For example, hymns might celebrate divine majesty, while lamentations express sorrow and seek comfort. Royal psalms reflect on leadership and God's promises to David's lineage, whereas Torah psalms highlight meditation on God's law. Understanding these categories helps interpret the psalm's intended message and emotional tone. Dockery indicates the significance of recognizing each psalm's type to appreciate its role in Israelite worship and personal devotion. This approach not only reveals the psalm's theological depth, but also their practical application in offering words for prayer, praise, and reflection. By categorizing the psalms, Dockery demonstrates their continued relevance as a dynamic resource for understanding human interaction with the divine embodying a wide range of emotions and situations that resonate across generations.